Yo, what is up everyone? This is your man Edgardo Cervantes. Another video, another content, and finally, a movie review. I am ecstatic about this. I'm just so thrilled to talk about uh, a movie in general, so I'm gonna uh, do this as long as possible or for a long time, so let's get it. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Uh, I saw this on Friday night with uh, my cousin uh, Eric, so shout out to you, bro. Uh, it was a great and uh, dope experience once again. The Wakandans strive to embrace their next chapter, and the heroes must band together with Nakia and Everett Ross to forge a new path for their beloved kingdom. And uh, Namor, for the most part, is a, a smooth and charismatic villain. Uh, to be honest with you and I never expected that a great uh, supporting character as well uh, and a great introduction to the MCU as a whole uh, let me just say this to credit to Ryan Coogler who really really uh, directed this film so well it's still too soon to talk about you know if Wakanda Forever is better than the first one you just can't compare it to how beloved the first one really is. At this very moment, I still say that the first one is still a much better movie, but Wakanda Forever is a much better uh, directing film. D during the whole film, I mean, literally this film is all about grief and it's all about the maturity of the supporting char characters from, you know, Wakanda, I mean, from the first Black Panther to Infinity War and Endgame if you want to count that as well because you know Chadwick Boseman was part of those projects uh, and as well as Civil War where he was first introduced cannot forget about that but also I do miss his presence uh, just like everyone else um, but I, I really want to take credit to Ryan Coogler who just, and I know it must have been a, a very challenging film to make um, and I would say this too, I think it's the best uh, film in phase four, in my uh, humble opinion. So yeah, I mean, hey, Sherry is really the main character of the film, but then I'm also not too surprised as well, because uh, I really saw that coming when she was gonna be the Black Panther um, as well. The action scenes were directed better from beginning, middle, and end. Uh, they were and they were very entertaining, but it also was pretty suspenseful too. Uh, Namor and his, and his uh, you know tribe, and his clan, pretty much the Talokans, They they really were menacing as fuck. <laughs> Ryan Coogler really wanted to show the Talokans to be uh, horrific, and he directed that. Th that seemed pretty well. Yeah, Angela Bassett at, uh, as Ramonda. I really thought she was gonna be the main character to be honest, but she wasn't. Uh, but she was amazing. And I could see why, uh, you know, the audience are saying give give her the nomination, you know, at least just an, an Oscar nomination. And you could, because she really does her best. Uh, I mean, she, it's Angela Bassett. She's one of the best actresses out there too, so. Uh, she did great, and you feel how much loss she had to go through. Uh, and I thought Dominic Thorne as Ironheart was okay. Um, you know, another one of those young, um, well, young Avenger introduced into the MCU. So, if anything, Phase Four was literally the the introduction of the whole Young Avengers. When you think about it, so there's gonna be. Um, a, a great sense of direction and I hope for phase five for those characters that were introduced I can't wait for that you know to see her character to be more um, to the screen uh, but I, in my honest opinion though I actually feel like she didn't necessarily have to be in this film it actually could have worked without her just out of respect she was part of this uh, plot line that, that's been going on just Ryan Coogler himself directed this film overall it's um, admiring, and it's also something that I think we're not ever gonna see again, or maybe not even for a very long time, but this is one of the most unique comic book films 
that has to deal with such tragedy. The difference is, you know, Chadwick was never in the film. Uh, what you only just see in the film is flashbacks and everything about this film, and I really do mean this, is silent. And I think silence is the best uh, key in the in moments of the film because you feel it. It, it really is a bittersweet film at the end of the day uh, when you think about it too. Um, but really shout out to, by the way, quick shout out to Tenek Huerta is not, uh, Namor at Or, Namor. <laughs> uh, you know, he was awesome and I can't wait to see what he really does, uh, what he brings more into this character and other future uh, MCU properties or content because, you know, I could tell that Huerta really loves playing uh, Namor really well or, or loves playing that character overall. So I cannot wait, uh, especially like when when we see him in Kang Dynasty or and or uh, you know Secret Wars of anything or any other shows too. The the Mexican the Mexican culture that was touched was pretty dope, and uh, it was something that you know I think uh, I I really uh, want to see again, especially how murky the water is. It, it it feels pretty real. It feels pretty natural too. No pun intended, but it really does. Uh, but overall, uh, if I were to rate this film, I would say a, a, a respectable, and I, and I highly mean this, but a respectable B plus. I think what it is is that in the first and second act, it, it, it was overall just a, a, an A film. And then towards the end of the third act, I didn't, I, I just felt like it, it was, you know, kind of getting rushed. I didn't mind it because, you know, the action scenes really felt suspenseful uh, in, in such a way. At the end of the day, how I feel about this film, B plus is a great solid score, at least for myself. Um, but I would say that just the way it was directed and that mid credit scene alone, powerful. Just so powerful in all levels. And I really hope you all guys uh, felt that kind of way too. Um, guys or gals, by the way. <laughs> is it worth the hype? Was it worth the hype for you all? Is is my rating too much? B plus, maybe it could have been A uh, at least, or A plus probably? Or is it like a B minus? Because I know it's not for everybody too. I, I think this is just character based uh, film at its best. I, I, I At least that's what I think that it's and it's really awesome to witness that because you don't see, I'm telling you, this film uh, not only is mature, you just feel the great importance of how beloved the uh, the, the cultural themes are. Uh, but yeah, uh, like, comment, share. I'm glad that I'm doing this a movie review. Let's do this, I'm gonna do this uh, yet again. I don't know what else to talk about, but I have in mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually talk about movies that I've seen in theaters, at least from this year, that's for sure. So keep an eye out on that. So thank you everyone, have a great one. Um, and as well as just stay, stay safe, um, stay healthy, and to the next video. Thank you so much, y'all. Video. Oh, and yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, peace.